Hello guys, it's the Aviation Asylum back with a review this time. Today we will be reviewing the Cargo Lux 747-8 in the cutaway livery. This aircraft is interactive and made by JC Wings. So let's get straight into it. Starting up at the front, we have the nose comb. With this one is removable due to it being an interactive aircraft. I will be getting into the, the aircraft itself right after I finish the overview. So over here we have the cockpit windows. You can't see where I'm pointing to because it'll just ruin the video. But the cockpit windows are really good um, like any other cockpit window. Under it there is the 45 years emblem celebrating 45 years of cargo looks being a successful company and right up under the emblem thing is the city that the aircraft is from yeah i can't wait what i can't read it it's pretty small lettering um i'll tell you when i get to read it um now next to it is the only door to get onto the aircraft yeah I'm not sure if it's the only door, but it's the only one I see, so I'm calling it the only door. And then, right above that is the European Union's flag. The European Union, well, the main country that Cargo Lux operates in is in the European Union, so they put the European Union flag to symbolize that. Sorry that my camera's really shaky, I'm very excited about this aircraft. Um, so now we will get to the Down mid. at the middle of the aircraft, there is the Cargo Lux, like, logo, symbolizing that this plane is from Cargo Lux, the company. And right under that is, well, the first cutaway that you see. This one just has a few pallets, but on the other side, there's the Boeing logo and a few more pallets. So that's a, a change, I guess. Then going down to the engines, these also, well, I think these are from Rolls-Royce, I have no idea, I can't see it, but yeah, four engines, two on each side, flaps are really good, there's no winglets on this aircraft, I don't think, and then here's the second cutaway, this one has a lot of stuff going on, so I'm just gonna try pointing out what I see, so, here is part of the Cargo Lux colors, right in front of this weird red tube thing. Um, it's supposed to be the flag of Luxembourg, but they didn't get the shade of blue right, so I'm gonna leave that be. And then there's this weird red thing that looks like a train. We have I have no idea what it really is. Then in front of that is the Boeing logo. Again, this is a Boeing 747, so Boeing has made it. And tons and tons of people over here. And then the second interactive door. There's two on that side too, so pretty cool. I will show you the opened configuration right after this. So there's people including on the interactive door. And then at the tail, there's a giraffe and more people and more pallets. And the giraffe goes to the tail. And then there's the glorified Cargo Lux logo. I will show you the opened configuration in just a second. information about this aircraft. The Boeing 747-8 is a very long-range com well, commercial freighter used in v many continents, many countries have airlines that use this. Even some commercial airlines with cargo variants use this. 
This is in the Cargo Lux livery, as you can see. Cargo Lux owns a bunch of 747s. I think around, well, over 10 747-8Fs and over like 12 747-400Fs. So, this is in the opened livery. There have been tons of crashes with 747s, but I'm not sure about 747-8Fs from Cargo Lux. So, I'll tell you the only 747 freighter accident that I remember vividly. Um, it was, what was it? Um, it was when a 747-400F or a 8F overran a, a runway at Halifax Stanfield International Airport. It was from Skylease Cargo, and the plane was deemed a total loss on site of the crash. Its landing gear collapsed, and they had to tear it apart at the scene. So, that's it for this review, and expect an airport update coming out soon with this aircraft. Bye!